What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And you guys already know what day it is today. It is any Monday, the day where I draw anime for you guys. But in this video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing one of my tutorial videos on probably one of the most uh, hardest parts to draw on a female character. And that is gonna be, of course, the boobies, the chest, the part that scares people away because it is always hard to get correct. But let's jump right into it. So for today's project, I'm gonna be drawing three different characters. I'm gonna be skipping some of the steps that I usually take whenever I create and pretty much just jump into what I want to jump into. Let's see if you can recognize two out of the three. But the only reason why I'm even using three different drawings is because I wanna show the flexibility of the body, different positions on ways how the boobs are affected by how your body is positioned. You know, for example, if your character is doing like a jump or is leaning, you got to be able to show different parts of the body at different angles and the breasts are one of the hardest ones but in this video i'm going to be showing just three basic form factors uh two characters on their knees one kind of squeezing them together the other one with their arms down and then the next character which is more of just the skeletal form kind of just standing there just being loud and proud but let's jump into the character that i want to focus on today so today I want to focus on my Korra character, uh, mainly just because I thought about it and it would be pretty hard to talk about all three of them in a timely time period. So let's jump with her. And so if you look at her silhouette, you can kind of just get the gist of how her arms are pressing her boobs out. And um, you want to do kind of a few certain things when making your character like this. So as I always do for my characters for the like, female body, it's always going to be, you know, a Dorito, a triangle, whatever for mainly the torso. And I draw circles at the ends just to show where the shoulders begin. And then I begin from there. And um, this is pretty much it for my bare bones for drawing a woman's chest and stuff like that is what I do. It's very simple, very quick and fast, and you can make everything connect up real quick and easy. So for the first example, I was going to try drawing the image the wrong way, but I do apologize because it came out actually very, very well and it looks really good, much better than the right way. But when you're drawing your character's chest, one thing you always want to consider is gravity and sag and, you know, drop. Uh, you don't want them to be, you know, big old basketballs like you see in like a bunch of waifus and stuff like that. Unless you want your character to be like that, if you just want your character to be like some ridiculous looking character like this one right here, then be my guest. Go right on ahead. No problem and nothing at all do it but if you want to be more subtle uh, more accurate I guess if accurate as you can towards the anime character then maybe this will help you but you do want to have sag you want to know where the curve happens and you just want to apply it to your image and you can do it by using many different methods uh, usually I do like the bowling pin or the peanut method where I draw a peanut or like two potatoes a bigger potato and a smaller potato underneath of it and it just works but for this one right here again like i said i meant to uh, draw one that was supposed to be horrible one that you don't want to use you know two big old basketballs but this came out really well instead and you just take a look at it and like i was like dang how am i supposed to up this with the one that's supposed to be correct because to be honest this does look pretty darn correct itself after i started adding some extra details to the body and everything kind of just flowed together very well and i was like sheesh but onto the one that i deemed correct you can see how i do the body same thing the dorito with the triangle the circles on the side for the shoulders put the neck in draw a couple little lines here and there then i start right away and you can see how i draw the breasts a lot more curvy very simple um Yes, they're still round, but you can see where the gravity shift changes on the breast. They're not just completely round ovals. They are more like bowling pins, if you will, where they're just nice and curvy and they just look really nice. And as you can see here, I'm starting to add some show notes to my image where I want the sag to begin on her breasts just to show the exact point where you want them to start falling down, where you want the curvature to change, because the way how the lines work it's not just a uh, complete like oval or circle. You want it to have a slight dip or a bend in it, kind of like a bowling pin. Why well, I keep on referring to a bowling pin is because it's like the perfect object for drawing people. You can use it for almost everything for people. You can use it for arms, legs, you can use it for part of the torso, shoulders, uh, and easily the breasts. You know, just condense it a little bit. Maybe I'll make, make a video in the future where I draw a character completely out of weird objects like bowling pins and drum, drum sticks and Doritos and stuff like that. You never know. 
But now for the next image, I'm gonna be focusing on just a certain part of her body, on her boobs, uh, mainly just where the creases are. If a character is kind of standing with her arms down, kind of just straight at you, if she's wearing more tight-knit clothing, you can see here, you know, I'm just gonna just plug it out real quickly, throw some arrows on here. And this arrow right here, I'm gonna focus on the one I'm drawing right now is probably the most important place where you wanna work on your breasts because this can be very confusing on how you want them to be. Depending on how much sag you have for your character, uh, the intersection lines can be very undetermined and you can might make something look go from really good to really bad depending on where you put the line and start drawing the lower torso and you do not want to draw too far out or too far in you don't want your character to be a twig or you don't want your character to be uh too disproportionate and so you just want to just focus up on where you think that this line should go usually it's a good place to put it at is where the line starts to curve from going down to going up that's usually like the best point to put the line at so just keep an, um, keep an eye on that, pay attention to that, and you will plug that out real easily and have no issues with it. So one thing you also want to pay attention to when drawing a character like this, depending on clothing and how big they are, is obviously the gap. Um, uh, breasts are not always pressed together unless you know they're wearing some type of underwear that makes them do that. Usually they're kind of spread apart just because of female reasons of sweat and stuff like that. And uh, not, not gonna get into that, but um, that's really the main reason why they're not always pressed together unless the woman just has really, really big breasts in your image. Uh, if you want it to be that way, then be my guest. Uh, you're the creator, you're just listening to me. But um, that's just what you really gotta pay attention when you're making boobies for your character. Gap, sag, gravity, clothing, and body proportion. That's pretty much everything you need to know about when making a woman. Uh, make sure you always have references too. It's always good to have good references with your characters. Um, you can have uh, 3D models, you can try drawing over, you can use any resource you can find. You can find the images on Google, practice by tracing those or by just sketching them out. Um, I took a uh, figure drawing class way back in the day and uh, I learned real quickly that it is pretty difficult to draw a character at a distance as a figure. Uh, so maybe if you have an image on your computer, you're just trying to figure out how you want to do that, then you can practice it. It will definitely improve your skills. Practice, practice, practice. It's the only way how to get it done. And that's pretty much what I recommend for these characters and way how to draw boobs. Um, if you want more content out of this video, please let me know. Uh, I can do a lot of things with these characters. I can put clothing onto them. I can make them be waifu status 10x. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Rate, comment, subscribe. Please let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments down below. Like the video. All of that. Help me push my algorithm. Your boy out.